It was on this frozen desert island, in the most dangerous period of the Cold War, that the ultimate explosion took place. Novaya Zemla, in the Arctic Barents Sea, is where the Russians demonstrated their nuclear might, testing bombs of ever-increasing power. they push the limits of explosive power further than they'd ever gone, or will probably ever go again. This bomb was codenamed the Tsar. It contained the equivalent of 58 million tons of TNT, or all the explosives used in World War II, multiplied by 10. The Tsar, the biggest bomb, the most powerful device mankind has ever constructed, was to be their masterpiece and a political showpiece, too. Six camera crews were assigned to film this unique moment in history. The air crew were hand-picked. They'd been warned their safety couldn't be guaranteed. They could avoid being blinded by the light, but being knocked out of the sky was quite possible. The exact moment of release was controlled from the ground. The bomb had been given a parachute to slow its descent and give the crew more time to escape. They did escape, but only just. The plume rose right through the cloud layer and kept on rising. It flattened out when the cloud was 40 miles high. The blast wave was still large enough to be measured on its third passage around the world. Because the bomb was detonated two miles above the ground, there was very little radioactive fallout. But the earth directly below the burst was seared by the intense heat. Rock had been turned to ash. The bomb was four times bigger than anything America has ever exploded. Why something so large? The United States could develop very accurate missiles. The Soviets never mastered that technique very well. And to compensate for that, they really could level a very large area and take out their intended target without having to actually hit the target itself. But why did the quest for ever bigger bombs suddenly cease? As the destructive power increased, political leaders worried more and more that they were really playing with fire. In 1963, the superpowers banned bomb tests in the atmosphere, underwater, and in outer space. I think that the Soviet detonation will probably be the biggest ever man-made detonation in the future as well. And so the soldiers and scientists have packed up and flown away. This island's days as a bomb site are history.